Thanks to my cameraman dog there for helping me out. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> I'm just checking Facebook and stuff, so I'll be in the background. Yeah. Uh, I pissed in New Mexico. He pissed in New Mexico. That's a big deal for him. I'm sitting here in Cayenta. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Bored out of my mind. And I have Monday Night Raw on. And... I'm going to admit, this is the first time I've actually sat down and watched a Raw. And they're doing the Beat the Clock Challenge. If you don't know what that is, they line up uh, a bunch of, of the top contenders for the world title, and they have to beat each other's times. Like right now, um, Ryback just beat Ron Killings, which is a fucking sham. But really, oh wow, Gold Dust and Cody Rhodes. <laughs> but really, what I want to talk about th this is what I've, I've mentioned this before. This is the reason why I don't like Monday Night Raw the commentators. And I'm seeing a Goldberg, <clears throat> a Goldberg DVD being promoted right now. You know what? I should just commentate Raw. <laughs> because... Really? They have a Goldberg DVD. How... How long was Goldberg in the WWE? Like, a year? Maybe less? Boggles my damn mind. But then again, this is the same company that wants to make a Sting DVD, and he's never been with WWE. But anyway, the commentators, the this vacuum of charisma that is the trio of Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, and JBL. It, when they okay, when it comes back. I can't show you the footage for obvious copyright reasons, but I'm going to put my camera up to the TV, and I want you to hear exactly what everybody else in the world is hearing, because these three idiots make me want to change the channel, and you don't want that, you know? The, it, what, what me and Dog over here, when we do our brew reviews... I think the last thing we want is for somebody to to just change the channel because then we're not doing our job properly. Well, maybe Dog thinks we might be, but hey, fuck you too. <laughs> Click. <laughs> no, I mean you want people to actually like our stuff, right? I mean if they hate it, that's one thing. You don't have to have sex with it, but you could at least like it. Right. <laughs> I mean you don't have to sit there. Like, watch the whole thing and say, oh my god, that was so stupid. No, if you want to turn it off, that's one thing. But that's not what we're here to do. We don't want you to change the channel. We don't want you to look for something else. We want you to enjoy our work. And then they're showing a preview of uh, the new Carrie. That actually looks really good. Uh, the girl that plays Hit Girl. In the kick-ass oh, kick movie. Ass. Uh, in the kick-ass movie. She's playing Carrie this time. Really good actress. Awesome actress. She's only like 16 years old. But, I can remember a time where... <laughs> I can remember a time where the commentating in wrestling was so much better. Because like I said, you have a good guy, you have a bad guy. And the good guy is supposed to be the neutral party. And the bad guy is supposed to always side with the heel. If Dog over here is the bad guy of the match, and he hits me with a chair, then the bad guy commentator is supposed to love that. We don't have that anymore. It's all They're all faces. They're trying to make JBL into the heel, but... 
It's not working. At all. And there they have... Oh, God. Stephanie McMahon is now on camera. With the Bella Twins. Who the hell thought we needed the Bella Twins back? Apparently one of them is dating Brian Danielson. And the other one I think is dating John Cena, so... I hate Brian Danielson and John Cena now. Because they're banging the Bellas. And it always makes me wonder if the Bellas would ever do, like, the switch. To, like, see if they would know what the hell is talking about, but... Okay. Alright, they're on. Alright. Squishy Frog, you just stay right there. I'm gonna... Let you fucking hear this. This this black hole of charisma. You know, guys, switching gears now to WWE 2K14, the video game available in two weeks. And this year, it's all about 30 years of WrestleMania. And when it comes to WrestleMania, there's one record that stands alone. Oh, who cares? Undertaker's legendary 21-0 undefeated streak. You know, guys, there's a brand new mode. It's called the streak mode. Within the streak mode, you can either defend the Phenox streak as the Undertaker, or try to do what no one has ever done. See, look at Nicole! He has no clue what he's talking about. Mania. I'm going to tell you, it is absolutely awesome. <laughs> as, that, uh, as those graphics that you see are, I mean, just an amazing... Jerry Lawler sounds so lost right now. Showcase your results and high scores to the rest of With, the without the Jim Ross, Jerry Lawler is lost. is available in two weeks. And if you pre-order now, you can play as the Ultimate Warrior, RJBL. Oh my god, they actually mentioned the Ultimate Warrior on wrestling. Can you believe it? Oh god. Okay. I gotta turn that shit down. You know what? I was, I did have a whole big spiel about uh, the commentator, but you know what? I can't talk about that. I'm sorry. We're switching gears. We're watching Raw. I'm not going to watch the whole thing because that would take an absurd amount of time. And I'm not going to suggest subject you people to that. But we are watching tons of funk. Get in the ring. Who the hell... It's, uh... Brodus Clay and... Tenzai, who... Used to be Albert. They don't have moves. They have nothing. JBL just said dancing dinosaurs. What the fuck does that mean? This is what I'm talking about. See, the commercial. The commercial for Burger King is ten times more enjoyable than watching Raw. The, the dancing dinosaur. This is one of the re... Okay. When they went PG... This this is the kind of shit that we are not subjected to. I say VG for veg. Yeah. They, they right. went PG to kind of uh, bring in the uh, the child, bring back the children again. Because that's what this shit is basically marketed for. You go in, you see the, um, you know, the toy aisle. They have all the action figures there. You're not going to see Al Snow's figure there because he severed a woman's head. <laughs> But it's marketed towards kids. Even during the Attitude Era, it was marketed for kids. So I, I get it. We're trying to bring the children into it. Think of the children. But the shit in the 80s wasn't this bad. I mean, that stuff was PG... But it wasn't stupid. And that's what this is. It, it's stupid. I just watched uh, two fat dudes 
in pink t-shirts because we're we're promoting breast cancer. I got no problem with that, but I just watched two fat dudes dancing around in the ring. You know who used to do that? Rikishi. And guess what? That shit got old ten years ago. But we're gonna do it again. Why not? The McMahon Helmsley era. That happened ten years ago. Fuck it. We're gonna rehash it. Because who has original storylines anymore? I don't. I the, nothing is original anymore. I can't wait to see who they wrestle. I'm sorry if this is gonna be. This is just gonna be me watching Raw. You know, I'm just gonna watch this one match. One match. I will subject you to that, and I'll turn it off. I, I feel my IQ slowly deteriorating right now. It's like if I was watching an episode of Duck Dynasty. <laughs> oh, don't let Tiff hear that. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Those hillbilly millionaires. Oh, they're not hillbillies. They're normal people. No, they're not. Okay, it's an act. It's all an act. If they were normal, regular people, if they were being themselves, you know what? They wouldn't be wanting a TV show. They would say, take the camera and shove it up your ass. Don't give me that, oh, they're real people bullshit. I haven't even drank tonight. And I'm pissed. Oh my god! <laughs> The real Americans. Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro. Who, and by the way, Antonio Cesaro, I believe is from Italy? Or Swiss, he's Swiss or something? He ain't American! <laughs> this shit is so stupid. Oh, Zeb Coulter, yes. I love Zeb Coulter. They're, they're actually doing the, uh, the in-match interviews now. But I love Zeb Coulter. Uh, I think that's Dutch Mantel. Because he's doing the whole thing with the illegals. And he's talking about how these little Mexicans are sneaking across the border. <laughs> I'm amazed they can say some of this shit. Because that would be... That's some pretty horror shit. Oh, God. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. Fuck. You totally missed it, but they were laughing together. Oh my god, JBL finally tried to make a joke as a heel. But listen to him, they're laughing at each other. God damn it. God damn it. I'm sorry if my angle is a little weird right now, but I don't fucking care. You never... 
You never saw Bobby Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon laughing at it with each other over anything. You. cheerleaders down there. <laughs> oh no, Tenzai is not where he wants to be. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm acting. I am the good guy commentator and I am supposed to show that he is in great peril. Oh dear. I don't even know what you call it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they don't even know how to be heels anymore either. Like he he's like, Rah, that's that's three. He is trying to wear down Tenzai's ankle to put it up for the Patriot Law. Oh my dear, this is terrible. <sighs> what? Wait, wait a minute. JBL is the general manager of NXT. <laughs> okay. They actually still have NXT. And they actually... That's actually impressive. But they, they actually have a GM for this. But Cesaro, that impressed me right there. He had fucking Albert. I refuse to call him Tenzai, but... He had him up in, like, a gut wrench suplex. Like, he had him up, I guess, but he was lifting him in the air before he did it. That was actually impressive. I says, all right, he's a strong dude, but... Oh, they just said he's the strongest guy in the WWE. Well, of course he is, because you said so. Keep emoting there, Cole. We might actually think you care. Oh, and the uh, the ropes are pink. <laughs> Well, the one is... The it's middle, for uh, titty awareness. The middle rope is pink for titty awareness, yeah. And Brodus Clay's titties are kind of sticking out there a little bit. He might want to be aware of that. I... Who the hell ever thought this guy could be marketable? Uh. Swagger was almost late on the mark on that one. <laughs> I think the referee even hesitated there. He's like, oh, shit, should I even bring the three down? And Cesaro's going to hit him with something, pin him, and they're going to win. Because that's how it is. Oh, he's going for the cradle pile driver. That was, that was cool. Okay, I, I will admit that was kind of cool. It's a shame that these idiots aren't going to go anywhere. That's the bad part. And Jack Swagger is still huffing and puffing. The guy... <sighs> and they're still laughing with each other. What's a... No, don't do it. The match is over. You stop this. And, of course, Albert repeatedly goes back to Jobberville every single time. Go back to Japan, <laughs> where you had at least uh, a bit of success. It's funny because these guys are supposed to be the heels. And they're getting cheered.
Oh my god. This, this is where I draw the line. Okay. You have the real Americans who are essentially the bad guys. You have tons of funk. Stupid name, yes, but they are supposed to be the good guys. Who does the crowd cheer more for? If you said tons of funk, you haven't been watching wrestling much. Because they're cheering for the bad guys. That's a sign that your your marketing for these guys, your strategy, is not working. The bad guys are not supposed to be cheered. The bad guys are supposed to be booed. And so when Antonio Cesaro picked up um, Albert for the, I guess, the giant swing. Apparently that's the big thing again. I hadn't seen that since the 70s. But... When he picked him up to do the giant swing, the crowd loved it. In fact, Cesaro and Swagger, they looked out to the crowd for approval. And, of course, the, the triad of stupidity, Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, and JBL, we're laughing their asses off when Cesaro was swinging fucking Albert's 340 pound fat ass around in a circle. Is there any heels anymore? Blows my fucking mind, man. Blows it. This isn't hard. I I take the dildo pillow here <laughs> and I crack dog over the head with it. He's the bad guy. I'm the good guy. People will cheer that. He takes the dildo pillow away from me, hits me over the head with it. People are supposed to boo him. It's basic wrestling. And there's Lillian Garcia. Gosh, she looked hot. I'm, I'm doing everything I can to not think about this shit. Because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I'm just too old school. But... I, I, oh, God, oh, my God, I have such a headache now, and I don't know why, I'm going to keep watching this, and if I see anything I don't like, I'm turning this camera back on, and I'm going to talk about it. Oh my god, we have women's wrestling on. Putting match. We have to watch this. There's AJ. AJ is the only competent female wrestler in the entire company. Oh my. Tamina Snuka, Jimmy Snuka's daughter. 
She looks so embarrassed to be there because you know that she's saying, okay, I'm about to job out to Brie Bella. AJ even looks ashamed to be out there. Ugh, this is painful. Take the power game away from Tamina. Yes, because she certainly looks like she's buff. She looks like she's dry humping her, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Wouldn't you? That's not the point. <laughs> Me and Tiff are kind of having a little Facebook war here. My money's on her. What? Okay, why is AJ not wrestling? She's the women's champion here. Jerry, stop talking. <laughs> she has a legitimate mean streak. Tamina makes it there. She is deceptively strong, that's Tamina. Yeah, throwing your jacket at her, that's really going to hurt. And Bree just sold it like she got hit with a sledgehammer. <laughs> I hate this show. Yeah, you can't see this, but if you if you can actually hear, I don't know how good my sound is on my camera right now, but if you heard that, you probably would be thinking something completely different. Look at those sledgehammer-like blows to a Brie Bella. They look like they hurt like a son of a bitch. Wow, a wrestling move. We can't have that. Not the women's wrestling. No. <laughs> the fans are trying to start some kind of chant. I don't know what it is. Very tough Brie Bella. And that's a perverted shot. Holy shit! Bradshaw actually said something heelish. Why can't he do that all the time? All he has to do is completely disagree with Cole and Lawler. Never once agreeing with them. Never once laughing with them. Never once joking with them. Always against them. What? Oh, AJ's gonna grab her like, no, nah, maybe not. She's gonna bounce off the rope and get hit with something, I guarantee it. Yay, you're hot. Yeah, whatever. Wow, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I think that's Tamina Smoka's very first win.
AJ, skip around the ring. That's awesome. Let's see. If, let's see if JBL actually says something heelish. Hold on. Silence. The only person that may be enjoying this more than uh, AJ and Tamina is Stephanie. Oh, no. Are you hearing this? Because I'm not. They're not saying a word. No, stop. Think of the children. That's awesome. She weighs like a buck ten, you morons. I'm pretty sure you can stop her. Oh, and look, here comes Nikki Bella, just in time to save her sister. Do you see what I mean, people? This, this is what I mean. Oh, and they're, they're, they're showing previews for Hell in a Cell. I already talked about that. But this is what I, this is what I mean. <laughs> I fucking hate wrestling. I hate it. But it's like crack. You can't stop watching it. I'll keep bitching about it. I mean... I don't know why. It's not like anybody's going to see this at the WWE and say, Oh my God, we are so stupid. This this moron sitting in a hotel room in Kayenta, Arizona with a stuffed frog on his lap. He is the voice of reason. <laughs> this is the man that will lead us the way. No. They won't. They should, but they won't. I've rambled on for like 30 minutes. I'm sorry. I had a whole big spiel plan, but I started watching Raw. I guess we'll, uh... We'll title this just Random Bullshit. <laughs> Part 2. I think I named another video of mine that, but... Yeah. This is this is what wrestling is nowadays. I miss I miss ECW. Hell, I miss WCW. At least they had competition and they kept things fresh. I I'm going to cut this before something stupid happens and I keep rolling. Dog, any last remarks? Uh, not really. Peace and chicken grease. Yeah. Until he comes back on. I'm going to keep watching this. Well, I got the other card here. You want me to empty it out so you can keep going? Yeah. You All might right, You might want to because I'm going to keep watching this. It's on for, like, I think another hour. Because you'll probably fill the damn card up at the rate you're going right Yeah. Now. And if something stupid comes on... No, when something stupid comes on, I might start up again and add to this. I don't know, but God damn, God damn.
Okay, finally something worth watching. CM Punk. I'll take it. It's CM Punk. Ever since Steve Austin left, CM Punk has been the saving grace that I've needed. Here you go. Uh, I got it. If you need more. Yeah, there you go. But. You're going to start rolling. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling. Oh, I didn't know you were rolling. So I don't care. I don't care! So what? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I must have missed this. There's a beat the clock for, I guess, if there's going to be like a, uh, a handicap match with Punk and Ryback at Hell in a Cell. Like I give a shit. But. No. By the way, your car is still safe. Thank you. Call him Joe Henning for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. This is going to piss me off, I know it. But I'm going to watch this. I'm going to cut it now. and Yeah.